Behold, it is a white canvas. You guys, that white canvas right there is about to be transformed into a beautiful eagle painting. I have a special um, deal going on on my Facebook page where if you become a Patreon for me, it's a limited time offer. Um, I will do, if it's $20 or more, I would do a... a, a a canvas painting for you, original Will Brown piece, and I had a few people sign up for that, and so uh, the request was for me to do a beautiful eagle painting, and so that's what I'm doing. Welcome to my channel. You guys absolutely rock. Thank you so much for watching this, and let's get into it. All right, you guys, here we are, and I just want to give a breakdown of what I've been sketching now. I didn't record all the sketching because it is such a light process at first that the camera doesn't pick it up very well, so uh, it's not very entertaining. Um, but this is what I'm working with so far as I kind of format and figure out how exactly this image is going to work. And so I went ahead and I found the eagle enough, and uh, I like it. I like it like this. Um, I went ahead and I put a dead tree on this side. This is going to be the shadow side. Got a light point here. Going to create a lot of nice contrast. The eagle also, I can save myself a little bit of time because it's going to be more silhouetted in the light of the sun back here, right? So as the sun goes down or comes up, however you interpret that, you know, this side will be more dark. I'll still give detail, I'll still give indications of feathers and everything going on there as well. Um, he's sitting on a little branch here, I was contemplating putting a fish there. We'll see, I got some trees in the background that I'm going to be adding as well. And those are going to be built down into here. I usually paint where I uh, work from the back to the front. But because I'm working with an eagle here, and I haven't done a lot of birds, to tell you the truth, um, I wanted to make sure that the dimensions of the eagle uh, would be good in this area, the size of it, and um, and that, uh, you know, kind of adjust, be able to adjust the background a little bit to complement what I'm, the image up front. And that's what I've done already. The mountains were really small before, and then I made this one a lot larger, and I like that because then I can have more snow on it. I'm going to put snow on it, which the snow will make the eagle pop more because it's white and then it's going to be more black and darker colors browns and oranges and stuff inside of the feathering slash the beak and all that so um so i was able to already adjust some of the the background before i even painted it in and then threw an eagle on top of it so this is where we're at you guys i'm gonna keep going and uh yeah
Here we are you guys and the painting is slowly being built. It's coming together. It's looking decent. <clears throat> I got to find out all the shadowing. Um, I'm making this a lot darker, darkening this up. I went through and put some fog at the base of the mountain to be able to push the mountains back. A little bit more distancing going on there. Went ahead and put some snow on the mountains here, 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 here. Um, and now it's just a matter of layering and layering and layering and layering. I also adjusted the river a little bit, gave it a little bit more of a bends to it, you know, it was a little bit straight here. And then, um, <clears throat> but I will have trees and stuff that will be kind of going over a lot of this or kind of tucking it away, so I think. And I think that I'm going to bring the lighting in on it real hard at the end. Uh, the light points so for now I'm just gonna start probably way back in here and I got to start building a forest tiny little tiny little just indications of trees moving all the way up 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 and a little bit up into the mountains might slam over <clears throat> top of it with a little bit more fog once those mountains are or those trees are in there which will push the trees into the distance and then I got to just think about my distancing as I come forward here and then I'll do one big tree coming up right right here which will help fill up the sky and see how this mountain's so big right in the center it will help balance that uh, I still got to do his feet and just start filling in the the um, the wings the feathers I'm gonna come in with a brown orange color for the sunset hitting him. And, uh, and of course, you know, indication of feathers and set up here, distinguish eye, all that kind of stuff. But that's gonna come later. Uh, the feet definitely gotta go on there. The claws, uh, that's gonna come later. Right now I'm just trying to find kind of my values and where I want everything to be. And then building this backdrop that uh, really just speaks loudly and is real beautiful. So we're gonna get to it. <clears throat> you guys check this out this is the eagle painting and we've gotten pretty far right now I'm working on building this forest out pretty extensively um, got a layer in shadows into it light points gonna add some more fog in the background went ahead and built up the mountains back here the eagle went a little bit darker and then I'm gonna start adding feather indications and lighter tones towards the end and put a few layers on that this right here the stump area is looking pretty Pretty good the limbs coming out look pretty good up here I'm have an indication of where a tree is gonna be 
and I'm gonna put a big tree in there to help balance out this side is more thick and busy, but still light point coming through to distinguish the eagle's uh, dominant wing towards the front. And then uh, you'll see this and the eagle will jump out and then your eye will travel off into the distance and into the ravine and it will just create a really aesthetically um, pleasing image. And so let's dive right in and get going. Next three hours are just this painting. Okay, you guys, here is where the painting's at and it's slowly being refined. Uh, you can see around the beak there, I need to clean it up and make it look a little bit better. Put in a little bit of shadowing here, a little bit of the light, smaller indications of the feathers. Um, so just kind of like working it through, working it out. And uh, around here, I need to clean up this a little bit as well. And then just come through and keep adding a few layers. And um, I was contemplating putting the tree in here, right behind them, and then maybe like a small one popping up here as well. And still trying to leave that open for expanse, but I'll probably just won't do that. Uh, I think it's already pretty balanced. And you have the busy, you know, trees and the, you know, the darkness over here and then the light over there. And I'll just probably leave it like this so it doesn't get too busy and take up too much time. Because uh, I already want to do a few layers. I want to clean up in the background here and keep layering in and working on the wings a little bit as well. Maybe add some indications of feathers up inside of these areas. Uh, we'll see how much, how extensive I go on this, but either way, it's meant to be enjoyed from a distance and just, you know, and that adds a powerful feel and emotion into a room when you have something like this hanging. So yeah, let's keep going. Okay, people, we are at the end of this painting. It's looking good. It's looking awesome. I love it. <clears throat> I think the Patreon is going to love it quite a bit as well. And um, so what I got to do now is I'm just going to bring, see how this is kind of blue and smoky? I'm going to bring that around on the side just a little bit right there. Just that. And then I'm going to go get like the polyurethane to be able to clear, uh, put this clear coat over here over the painting and seal it up, which is gonna help protect it, just make it. Also, when you do that, it, it seems to make the colors more vibrant, kind of like the chalky um, look to it that's a little bit uh, faded or something like that, kind of disappears, I've noticed, and it just makes it look more clean and crisp and beautiful. So that's what we're doing. We're diving on this, and this was a fun painting, and I think it came out real good for you know what it was where i was at in life when i was working on this too going through quite a bit of extra stuff on the side and um but still got to pull out a real nice image um a good painting that the patreon has already seen it online and they're like i absolutely love it i love it so much so i'm so excited to show this to her um and then so thank you thank you thank you thank you for being a patreon for supporting will brown art you absolutely rock. I deeply appreciate you. And then uh, we, the last step is to go out and get it copied for prints. So if you're a person that wants a print of this painting, feel free to message me and uh, I will have a digital copy of this that I can make prints off of and hopefully send it your way. So appreciate it guys and uh, let's get into it.
Hey guys, how's it going? Will Brown here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this uh, canvas with some varnish. Usually I use um, just uh, stuff that's in a tube and then I pour it out and put it over there. But I've been, I've been working with this stuff and it seems to work pretty darn well. Um, it's an easy coat and um, it says non-yellowing protection for oil or acrylic watercolors. Keeps it fresh, keeps it fresh and all that stuff. So. Um, it, uh, it works pretty good. I've used it on some of my stuff, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do with this one. But before I do that, I wanna kinda go over it with a clean rag. This has full paint on it, but it's a clean rag. And I just wanna wipe it off. And just kinda make sure there's no dust on it. And it's as clean as possible. I'm also gonna be doing the sides, because that's part of the painting. Well here. Then shake this up really well. I want to make sure there's not a lot of debris in the air, wind blowing, um, random deb debris and stuff. And I want to take this and just better to put it on light and then just do a few coats when you're working with spray paint that kind of thing so I'm just gonna let that sit out in the Sun for a minute and dry um, or solidify a little bit and then I'm gonna turn it sideways and do the top and the bottom and uh, and then and hit the front with another coat as well but you can see already um, it really just makes it more vibrant more beautiful um, the colors come out a lot more richer and true because it kind of knocks down any of that fogginess and kind of adds a little bit of a sheen to it. And then, of course, it's put there to protect it more than anything. But, um, yeah, I will go ahead and hit that with another coat and get all that stuff ready and taken care of. So thanks so much for watching my painting video, you guys. My name is Will Brown, and please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Also consider being a Patreon. I got a link in the description below and links to my children's books that I um, illustrate and write myself, and I'd love for you to check those out as well. If you would like some kind of custom painting, um, you're more than welcome to message me. I, uh, depending on where my schedule's at, I might be able to do something for you as well. And uh, send it to you, especially if you're in the U.S. And I uh, would uh, love to be able to partner up with some more people. And so uh, please check out those links. And you absolutely rock. And I hope you enjoyed the making of the sequel painting. Take care.